Well, I'm way behind schedule on my first ever video. And my Patreon said I'd have something out already. So, how about a nice top 10 video to tide us all over for the wonder of modern medicine that is my upcoming video on Rutherford B. Hayes? And away we go. Fact number one. Despite appearances, Rutherford B. Hayes is not President James Allen Garfield. Fact number two. Rutherford Bertrand Hayes is actually a Rutherford Bertrand Dash Hayes. Bertrand is his mother's maiden name. I guess they just didn't hyphenate like that back then. Fact number three. Rutherford Hayes' administration officially ended Reconstruction Era in the South in 1877, when the last remnants of Army presence was removed from the South. And Lord help us to this very day. What a decision they made. Fact number four. President Hayes tried to make a former Confederate general Joseph E. Johnston, a Secretary of War, but due to the political pressure, he decided against even putting him up for approval. This decision sounds really heckin' bad, but actually diversifying his cabinet wasn't the same beast as his Reconstruction policy and served him well in other ways over time. He still got David Key for his uh, postal master. The master of stamps, the lord of envelopes, the god king of postage. Fact number five. Hayes is commemorated by a statue in his likeness in the town of Delaware, Ohio, in front of a pizza place. Fact number six. That pizza parlor is awesome. It is called Amato's Wood-Fired Pizza, and it is delicious as well as awesome. Fact number seven. During his governorship, Hayes campaigned for President Grant. One of the main drives that he had to push, that he had to deal with, was healing the wound created by Grant's expulsion of Jews from the Tennessee Department during the Civil War. You see, there were some folks among the Jewish community who were selling contraband goods from the South. Uh, but there's a problem with just removing all the Jews from the Tennessee Department. And that is very statistically few of them were actually even doing this and um yeah yeah that's right Hayes uncle was also in the business of selling contraband goods in that region and you know he got away scot-free it kind of sounds like taking care of the competition you know what I mean wink wink fact number eight Hayes is the president who started the whole collecting portraits in the White House thing by collecting portraits of his predecessors, first as Ohio governor, and then later in the White House. Fact number nine. On July 22nd of 1877, in the state of Indiana, within the city of St. Louis, the Marxist-leaning Workingmen's Party organized the only successful peaceful strike of the entire great strike of 1877. A strike uh, of railroad origins that sort of overtook the nation for about a month there. Um, they really did me a proud one here. All the other strikes were really messy, but this one was neatly organized, and while it ended with a lot of people being arrested and fired, at least it didn't end in bloodshed. 
fact 9.5. But unfortunately, they were also, as a party, super duper racist against the Chinese immigrants living in San Francisco during Hayes' presidency. At the time, the city was about 33% or more. Fact number 10. You would really, really be missing out by not catching my Rutherford Hayes video coming out later this month. Uh, hopefully sooner rather than later. I, I mean, really, it's going to be a joy for us both. I hope you all have a good day and join me uh, in the video, the watching part. You don't have to make anything for the video. I'll do that.